we don't want somebody to go through what we've gone through. Their son seemed to have it all, an outstanding athlete who caught the eye of professional scouts. But one morning, that bright light went out in an instant when he overdosed. Now, Roman Montano's parents are doing everything they can so other parents don't have to bury their children. Nancy Laughlin has their story as part of our State of Addiction series. Even from his baby pictures, it's easy to see Roman Montano was anything but average. He weighed more than 10 pounds at birth, and this big baby would grow up to be a really big guy. Roman Montano was a star athlete at El Dorado High School. His parents say everyone wanted to be him and be around him. Going into El Dorado, he was playing three sports. At six foot seven, 240 pounds, he was excelling at all of them. But somewhere along the way, Roman got a foot injury, then had foot surgery. His parents aren't sure, but they think that's when his troubles began. It starts with the pain pills, whether it's prescribed or, or, uh, or out of you know recreational use or just trying something. The injury didn't derail Roman. He knew professional baseball scouts were looking at him, so he dropped out of football to concentrate on his favorite sport. I wasn't really too good with that because too much time on your hands, you know. During his senior year, right before baseball season, Roman got into legal trouble after using a stolen credit card at the mall. After he had gotten in trouble, that's when he was disciplined and, and uh, kicked off the baseball team. And, uh, and then we started to see the, yeah, the downfall. The Montanos say their son was humiliated and depressed. He lost the one thing he loved most. We got a phone call and we had to go pick him up because he couldn't handle it, seeing all the, the kids walk to the field. The Montanos say Roman was in despair. He kept quiet but privately turned to painkillers. Then after graduation, his parents caught him using heroin. It's a relentless drug that just puts their claws in someone and doesn't let go. They took Roman to an addiction center. For the next couple of years, he seemed okay, getting involved in MMA fighting and bodybuilding. He had a baby girl. But on May 2nd, 2012, Roman was supposed to go lift weights with his dad. He didn't show up and he wasn't answering his phone. Police say they found Roman in this parking lot in his car, the engine still running. There was a needle in his arm. Roman died of a heroin overdose. He was 22 years old. We believe that his, his death did impact a lot of people. In a good way. The Montanos say after Roman died, many people reached out to them. They realized if this drug could take Roman out, anyone is fair game. Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News.